ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello I go by Kai and I make art videos and today I'm going to be doing something slightly different we're going to have a discussion I'm just gonna talk about some things that are on my mind but so as not to bore you guys there will be a time lapse playing in the background to occupy your eyes. The topic that we're going to be discussing today is why I started YouTube monetization. Before we get into the discussion, I'll just tell you a little bit about what you're going to be seeing on screen. So, I have a local art group on Facebook and once a week, well every week, we do a challenge. It's our weekly challenge and for this week, we were supposed to redesign a playing card. So basically you pick a number and based on what number you pick, a card is assigned to you. I was assigned the Queen of Spades, so I had to redesign the Queen of Spades. That's pretty much what it is. Um, doing it digitally, most of my stuff lately has been digital, mainly because the sketchbook that I'm using, I don't like it. I made a whole video about it. it doesn't encourage me to want to draw. So I tend to do my sketches in said sketchbook and then color it digitally. Since it doesn't work well with alcohol markers, which is my main medium. But I mean, one of the pros is I have been getting better at digital. So I guess that's okay. I do intend to finish the sketchbook by the end of the month though, because me, 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 is coming up as well as a hundred days of sketching which is by cash and I want to take part in both of them and as is my personality I want to start new sketchbooks for each of those so I'm not allowed to start it until I finish this one so hopefully that motivates me to work in it more so now to the topic why did i start youtube well it's pretty simple i i just wanted a, like a, a timeline of my learning i took art classes when i was in high school and then i stopped drawing after high school for about 10 years 2018 i think is when i decided i wanted to get serious about getting back into art so i started the channel for like two reasons one being i wanted to have documentation of me progressing learning trying new things so that i can see where i improved i i don't really have any of my art from before from high school because there was like a hurricane everything got destroyed so I kind of wanted something that would be safe so like in the cloud on YouTube I feel like YouTube is probably going to be around for quite some time so I thought it would be a good place to house my progress and at the same time I wanted to put myself out there. If you know me in person, it might seem weird. Like people always tell me that I'm very confident regardless of my voice. I'm not really. I try really hard to be. So this is another way for me to get over this I don't know what I what it is insecurity about my voice and my heart 
and putting myself out there. So basically that's why I started YouTube Plus. I thought if I started uploading videos, I would feel obligated to continue doing it, which means I would continue drawing. I haven't been very consistent. I just started becoming consistent in 2020. I did like take almost a year off, but because I was pregnant and uh, you know morning sickness all of that uncomfortable stuff that comes with being pregnant that's pretty much it pretty much why I started YouTube now why I want to talk about monetization the father of my child has said that if one of my videos get to a thousand views he will purchase me the Kimi gouache because I've been wanting it but I've also uh, decided that I'm going to try and save money so I'm not allowing myself to buy any more art supplies because I have a lot already but I want it really bad so he said when one of my videos hits a thousand views he's going to get it for me so my short one of the shorts that I did hit like 600 and something views and I was like this is this is very close like I could make this a thing so I started promoting the video on Facebook amongst my friends and family and they have been watching it like on repeat a couple times a day I always remind them they say that they're doing it I have another YouTube account that's not art related and I've been watching it on that and I've been noticing that for like three weeks the view count did not go up it stayed at like 630 something and it didn't go up from there and I kept pushing it pushing it then eventually it went up by like five views it's like half like it is going up but not in the way that it's being viewed like I will view the video like five times in a row and then I will wait until the next day so that it has time to process the view count and I would check the views and it would have one more view when I watched it five times so I know that other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, have complained about their views being suppressed. Honestly, I understand, I get why that might be a thing. You know, they're trying to lessen how much they have to pay out in monetization. But I didn't think it would be something that would affect me because I only have 100 subscribers. Like, 105 subscribers I do not qualify for monetization I'm not even close and even if I met all the criteria monetization isn't available in my country so I could not get monetized either way I'm just trying to get some gouache like why would you suppress my views I'm just trying to get some gouache and I'm like I know I sound really calm but I am very, very upset about what appears to be my views being suppressed. Because I really want that gouache. I am going to link the video in the description as well as at the end of this video. So you could go watch it and help me reach my thousand views so I could get that gouache. Anyways, I don't want to keep you guys too much but before i go i do want to say because i haven't publicly said it yet but thank you for 800 subscribers well it's 105 now but thank you it is a huge milestone for me i think when i started in 2020 like when i started becoming consistent i had like nine 
subscribers. So, like a hundred feels like a thousand to me. I appreciate all your subs. Appreciate you guys watching my videos and commenting and liking. I just appreciate you guys. Anyways, let me know if you like this new format of me just having a conversation about something that's on my mind. I'm thinking about doing more of it so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better, understand my thoughts and feelings a bit. And of course, I want to get to know you guys. So please leave some comments so that I can interact with you. Let me know what you think about this soul view suppression thing or you know about anything I am always willing to have a conversation or a discussion or even a debate as long as it's respectful and I will see you guys in the next video bye